uh, Alabama, I love this team. It is a true team. And maybe they can shoot their way past uh, past Connecticut. Um, but uh, they're going to have to hit everything. Um, like One night, it's Grant Nelson from North Dakota State. The next night, it's it's uh, it's uh, Mark Sears from Ohio U. Uh, the Elite Eight game, it's Jaron Stevenson, who is a big recruit, but he was like reclassified. And like he he this tournament in the NCAA tournament went for seven two zero points and then nineteen. Like it's his night. And Nick Pringle, a JUCO Nick transfer, Pringle. sixteen and eleven. That guy had 14 games this year. Nick Pringle had 14 games this year with five points or fewer, including a couple zeros. Yeah. And and he and Stevenson, Stevenson had a zero in the Sweet 16. They're dominating to go to this team. They You don't know who's coming at you with the Nate Oates team. And if right. they can shoot and get it going, I, they have to truly outscore. And I know this is a, you know, obvious, but you like they need, if they can get like 100, maybe they can beat Connecticut. But yeah, they can get a hundred. That's, I guess, my point. Like they can get a game into the nineties, and maybe they can win this thing. Oh, sure, but they're going mean, to have to. They're pure high octane offense. You know, again, they run and they chuck, and the, but if they're hitting, it becomes a whole different deal. But that's Nick Pringle was a, I believe, came into the game a fifty-two percent free throw shooter. He shoots the free throws with one hand because he's he's bad at it. So it's like one of those where you balance the ball on your right hand and you take the left hand off not quite don nelson if you if anybody's that old but but to shoot that way and he made eight out of 13 free throws to help him pull away from uh clemson and then the uh the sweet 16 game was uh who was like i mean when they beat north carolina uh um muhammad diabate who had done Oh no, he he was more against Green. He was Grand Canyon. He scored nine points in that game. Hadn't really done much of anything all year. Nine points, five rebounds. So they got a lot of guys. And they throw them out there and they see who's playing well and they keep riding them. The main guys are Mark Sears, of course, the transfer from Ohio University. Aaron Estrada, the transfer from Hofstra, and Grant Nelson, the transfer from North Dakota State. Nate Oates can Cook it up with whoever, whatever, and style of play. They a lot like Purdue, but totally different in terms of style. But they tend to make other teams play the way they want to play. If they can somehow do that to UConn, look out. I don't anticipate it, but it's going to be one to watch. Nate Oates, of course, right? Former uh, Detroit High School. Detroit area, right? Bromulus. Yep. Uh, yeah. Bromulus High School. Not long uh, ago. Not long yeah, ago. No, not not long ago. They went at to all. Buffalo. No. Uh, Twenty like ten years. Yeah. Maybe. Twenty. Yeah. Was not even ten coach? years. Twenty thirteen. Yeah. Yeah. He was a high school coach. So eleven years ago, he was a uh, he was a high school basketball coach, uh, putting together an incredible uh, run at Romulus, and then yeah, like Dan said, got the Buffalo assistant job, got the head job, and and then I saw it, Daniel. You, know, you retweet um, Nate. Oates, he had uh, tweeted a picture of him and AD Greg Byrne, Alabama AD Greg Byrne, on the on the flight home with the final with the trophy uh, from the regional, and um, he had put a thread of his tweet with Greg Byrne in the plane on the flight to Tuscaloosa when uh, yeah when Greg hired job. him yeah from from Buffalo, which I don't know. I mean, y'all could probably speak more of it. Uh, on better on it than I could, but I mean, he obviously done a great job at Buffalo. I'm sure he was a hot name, but gosh, you know what? Like at the time, nobody, no, 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 no. culture. Six years before, oh, he doesn't know, you know the South. The, right. uh, yeah, right. oh, no. was that was questions. like a, yeah. you're just taking the hot guy. Yeah, no, no, that was a great, that was a great hire by Alabama. Obviously, um, yeah, no, no question. And uh, and again, it's a lot. You transfers, you get your guys, you get a team, you have a full team. Um, my theory on how the blue bloods are doing panned mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. Where's your Nike and Adidas? Yeah. Where's, you know, oh, it was much better. It wasn't the Wild West when Nike and Adidas just stacked all the teams and ran in the whole sport. This is the Wild. This is horrible. It's kids from North Dakota <laughs> doing stuff. <laughs> the nope. rich will get richer. No, they won't. Not anymore. No. Please no. speak in reality. Nike and Adidas don't run your sport anymore. That's a good thing, you clowns. 
It took Someone 44 minutes into the pod, Dan. Dan tell us we got well, What do you want me to do? Where, what happened to all the Duke guys? I was how long it would take. Longer than I thought. <laughs> I, don't worry. Someone will. T- it's horrible. <laughs> it's just the rich are going to get richer. When the rich just yeah. got poorer. They again. <laughs> another final four. UConn is the king of them all. They're the real blue blood. But it ain't because <laughs> Nike stacks their team. No, no. You guys and- sat there and let Nike and Adidas cheat for forty freaking years on this sport, and now you're crying because they're not. Hmm. I like yeah, it. Purdue has not been the favored uh, recruiting child of Nike. That's for sure. Uh, NC State, certainly not the favored recruiting child of Adidas. Well, they, Adidas, they, they did, Adidas did throw a few <laughs> threw bags of cash around for NC State. It just they, never they worked. Did, yeah, they they did end up in the uh, in the FBI deal. Yeah, but yeah, their best player they got off the bounce from Tennessee then went through. Like it's it's yeah. different. It's right. okay. Stop right. believing that all the saints that were that were going to the final four every year, those genius coaches just happened to get there. Someone victimized them. They got victimized yeah. with all yeah. those lottery picks. Yeah. <laughs> I think Jeez. Kansas would like to go back to being victimized. Where's the victims? Right. Somebody victimized me. 